Hi, this is Mick Presnell, and this is part two of Categorical Propositions, an introduction to the logic of Aristotle. Topics discussed in this presentation are the four standard propositional forms, abbreviations for the four forms, propositional quality, propositional quantity, and Venn diagrams for the four standard forms. Remember that a proposition is a statement that is either true or false. The application of Aristotle's system of logic requires that we start with propositions in one of four standard forms. All include a subject, copula, and predicate. It is traditional to use a capital S to stand for the subject of a proposition and a capital P to stand for the predicate. Any statement in one of these forms is a standard proposition regardless of what terms are used for the S or P. The four types are all SRP, some SRP, no SRP, and some S are not P. A letter abbreviation is used to refer to each of the four types A, E, I, and O. So when logicians refer to an A claim or an A proposition, they mean a proposition of the form all SRP. When they refer to an I claim, they mean a proposition of the form some SRP. The use of Aristotle's logic will require being familiar with these abbreviations and the characteristics of the propositions they refer to. Standard propositions are one of two qualities, affirmative or negative. A proposition is affirmative when it says what is included in a category. All SRP says that all of the S kinds of things are also included in the P kind of things. A proposition is negative when it says that what is excluded from a category. No SRP says that the S's are excluded from the P category. All SRP and some SRP are the affirmative standard propositions. No SRP and some S are not P are the negative standard propositions. Using the abbreviations for the standard forms, that means that A and I claims are affirmative and E and O claims are negative. Standard propositions are one of two quantities, either universal or particular. A proposition is universal when it says something about all members of a category. All SRP says that all S's are also part of the P category. No S are not P says that no S's are part of the P category. A proposition is particular when it says something about only some of the members of a category. Some SRP says that at least one S is a P. Some S are not P says that at least one S is excluded from the P category. Using the abbreviations for the standard forms then, A and E claims are universal claims, and I and O claims are particular claims. One way to remember the characteristics of the standard propositions is to visualize them in a table with two rows and two columns. They are organized so the affirmative propositions are in the top row and the negative propositions are in the second row. Universal propositions are in the first column and particular propositions are in the second column. So A claims are affirmative and universal. I claims are affirmative and particular. E claims are negative and universal. And O claims are negative and particular. Here is another way to remember the characteristics of the standard forms. Each row in the table shows the characteristics of each of the four standard propositions. Venn diagrams are a way of using circles to visualize the relationship between categories in a proposition. In this example, tires is the subject of the proposition and round things is the predicate. The proposition says that, only tire, that the only tires there are are round things. In Venn diagrams, we fill in the part of the circle where there, there are no members of the category. In this case, there are no tires that aren't also part of the category of round things. So we fill in the left side of the subject circle. The A claim is universal and affirmative. 
So this proposition is saying something about a characteristic that all tires have, namely, they are all round. That makes it a universal and affirmative claim. Suppose a tire manufacturer has some major problems. None of their tires are round. This is an example of an E proposition. In this case, the center area where the circles overlap is filled in because there are no tires that are also round things. Think of the filled area as indicating a hole. Nothing is there. The E claim is universal and negative. So this proposition is saying something about all tires, namely that they are all excluded from the category of round things. That makes it a universal and negative claim. The I proposition in this example is saying that at least one tire is round. It could be one or it could be that nearly all the tires are round. Some in categorical logic doesn't distinguish between how many members of the set there are, only that it doesn't apply to all or none and there is at least one. The quantity of an I claim is particular and the quality is affirmative. An X is used in the Venn diagram to indicate at least one. In the I claim, the X goes in the middle area. In this example to indicate that there is at least one tire that is also round, a round thing. The O proposition is saying that there is at least one tire that isn't round. This could mean that one isn't round or most of them aren't round. It doesn't matter how many aren't round, only that at least one isn't. At least one tire is excluded from the category of round things. So the O proposition is particular negative. Its quantity is particular and its quality is negative. In summary, the four standard propositions are the A, E, I and O claims. A and E claims have the quantity of being universal, that is all or no. The I and the O claims have the quantity of being particular. The A and I claims have the quality of being affirmative. And the E and O claims have the quality of being negative. Venn diagrams can be used to visualize all four of the standard propositions.